Hi everyone. I've been asked why are there only seven notes available in Magics when there are 12 notes to an octave. And I think the reason for this is just to keep the interface simple and stop it being so cluttered. But what I'm going to demonstrate is how to obtain all of the 12 notes in an octave in Magics. Let's start by creating a new project like so and for this I'm going to use uh, let's, let's use hip hop my territory and I'm going to use the brass section and there's only one instrument in the brass section and that's the D flute and it sounds like this okay we'll stop that what I'm going to do is put one of each note down like so and I'm going to cut off the second bar and I'm going to put a two down cut that one off and a three I'm going to do this all the way to number seven number four number five Number six, and number seven. There we go. Now at the top of the screen here, you'll see that this is now going to play C, D, E, F, G, A, and for some strange reason, A sharp. But if you look at the keyboard, between the C and the D, there's a C sharp or a D flat, whichever you want to call it. So what I'm going to do is to move these out of the way and I'm going to put a gap there, like so, and I'm going to copy this C, hold the control key down, click and drag, and copy that C next to that one. And I want to make this C sharp. So if we click on the inspector tab down here, there's an option here to change the tempo, pitch and resample. Click on that. And what I'm going to do is to increase the pitch of that by one half tone. Go back to the keyboard. Ignore the fact that it's still staying C here. So we've got C, C sharp, D. So we'll put D back in place where it came from. So it's now playing D there. And now we want D sharp or E flat. So I'm going to copy that one. Hold the control key down, click and drag and copy. And I'm going to go to the inspector tab for that note. And again, I'm going to use the pitch and resample. And I'm going to turn that one up by one half tone. We can go back to the keyboard. Let's just move these out of the way a little bit more to give us a little bit to play with. So we've now got C, C sharp, D, D sharp. We can put E back in place because that's the next note. Oops, let's just click on the one note rather than all of them. E, and if you look after the E, the next one is the F. So we can put the F back in place. Let's move these out of the way. Highlight them, just click and drag, no need to hold the control key down, just move them out of the way. And after the note of F here, we have F sharp. So I'm going to click on that F, hold the control key down, and I'm going to copy that one to there. And again, I'm going to go to the inspector, tempo, pitch and resample, and I'm going to turn that up by one half tone. Back to the keyboard. So now we have F and we have F sharp. So that's this here, F, F sharp. So now we need G. So let's just copy this G. Sorry, we'll just highlight this G and drag it back to there. And if you look on the keyboard, after the G, there's a G sharp. So we'll take that G, hold the control key down, click and drag, and copy that. It still says it's playing G here. Again, we've got that object highlighted. Click on the inspector tab, click on the tempo pitch resample, and increase that by one half tone. Go 
go back to the keyboard. So now we've got G and G sharp. And after G and G sharp, we need A. And here is the A. Click on that object, we'll drag that one to there. And after the A, we want A sharp. And surprisingly, Magix has decided that it's going to use an A sharp there. So we'll just drag that one back. And after A sharp, we need B. So we'll just copy this A sharp, hold the control key down, drag, drop, click on the inspector tab, and we'll increase that one. Click on the pitch tempo again, and increase that one by one half tone. Go back to the keyboard, and now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve notes, which makes up an octave. Let's just reduce this re replay time back to the end of that, and let's just play that. Okay, we'll stop that. It's decided to repeat as it normally does. Now you may have noticed that it couldn't play these last three notes. It played them at an octave lower than you expected. And the simple reason for that is because a flute wouldn't have a musical range to play these notes that high up. So what we can do is to click and drag and highlight those notes, move those out of the way for the time being, now highlight all of these, click and drag and move these out of the way, for now, anywhere you like. Now highlight those three notes it couldn't play or played at a lower octave, put those at the start, click and drag and highlight these other notes, put those up to the end, like so. And surprisingly, Mute Magix has now done something interesting. At the top of the screen here, it now says it's going to play A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, and G sharp. Now all of a sudden, it knows which note it's going to play. So let's just click away from that, and let's just play that one. And we'll stop that because it starts repeating again. As a matter of interest, if you've got any tracks that have got no music in them, and yet it's got something like this on it, the Piano Pro MIDI record, if you hover over the number of the track and press your right mouse button, there's an option here to clean that track. And it'll clean it and just leave you a, a blank track. As a matter of interest, if you've got stuff in a track already, like we have in track seven here, if you right click over this one, it doesn't give you the option to clean that track. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful, which explains slightly how to obtain different notes that aren't available in all of these that are presented as standard in Magix. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.